The Inspector General of the German Armed Forces, Karsten Brewer, has made an alarming statement about Russia's military buildup. In an interview with Germany's Süddeutsche Zeitung newspaper on Monday, Brewer said that Russia produces about 1,000 to 1,500 tanks per year and plans to increase the number of soldiers to one and a half million, which is more than the entire European Union. If we look at the five largest NATO armies in Europe, we will see that only half of the tanks produced by Russia in a year are at their disposal, Brewer said. The senior military official stressed that the Kremlin's current military preparations exceed its military needs for the war against Ukraine, stressing that Russia could go to war directly with NATO after 2029. He also said Germany is expected to be the center of hostilities in case NATO-Russia clash erupts. It should be noted that last week Germany allocated 1.2 billion more funds for defense spending instead of 6 billion euros demanded by German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius. Defense Minister Boris Pistorius said in early June that Germany must prepare for war because of increasing Russian threats. We must be ready for war by 2029. We must not believe that Putin will stop at Ukraine's borders when he gets that far, he said in the German parliament. Mass protests began in France. There was a clash between protesters and law enforcement officers. Residents of the capital took to one of the main streets of the city, raising large handwritten banners reading, France is the fabric of migration, and chanting numerous slogans. As the final polls closed in the most momentous election in recent memory, hundreds of people milled about, waiting to find out what would lie in store for France. In a shock win, Final results left the broad left-wing alliance as the biggest force in the French parliament, with the new Popular Front taking 182 seats. Emmanuel Macron's centrist grouping, Ensemble, was in second place, with 163 seats, a stronger showing than expected. Marine Le Pen's far-right, anti-immigration national rally came third with 143 seats. Voter turnout in the first round was high, nearly 68%, compared with 47.5% in the 2022 parliamentary elections. Riots, clashes, and looting broke out across France as left-wing supporters flooded the streets to celebrate the new Popular Front coalition's victory over the right-wing national rally and President Emmanuel Macron centrists. Over 30,000 riot police officers, including 5,000 in Paris alone, were deployed across France to prevent violence as political tensions rose ahead of the election showdown between the right and left. Police desperately tried to disperse the crowd with tear gas as a hooded and masked mob started throwing bottles, erecting barricades, and setting bikes on fire. At least one officer was reportedly injured by a Molotov cocktail. Multiple fire brigades were deployed to extinguish the fires set by rioters. The mood is quite high drama and intense, said Philippe Marlier, professor of French and European politics at University College London. It is a mood of mobilization on the part of all those who don't want national rally to get a majority or even win the election.